Good morning, Keisha. Good morning, Briggs. Good morning, Mocha. Good morning, Lindsay. How y'all feeling? What it do? Happy Tuesday. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Child. Good morning, Wilbert from Memphis. How you feeling? Good morning, Portia, on this cold day. I know that's right. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning, Tam. Good morning. Good morning, good fella. Thank you so much. Mr. Reese, what's the temp down there? Good morning, mommy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am good. Just trying to stay warm, chap. Hey, good fella. Hi, good y'all. morning, Mocha. We all. Happy Tuesday. Happy anniversary again, P. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Tap Fam. Yes, happy anniversary. Hey, Lindsay. Um, unknown user. Good morning. Baby, change your name. <laughs> Greetings, earthlings. Nano, nano. Nano, nano. Uh, hey, Darren. Good morning, Darren. Hey, Darren. Can't stand it, Tony. Um, um, Darren, you see what he changed his um picture to? What is that? I can't see. Did you, you didn't see the um the ad I did for the Yoni Bar? Uh uh-uh. uh. He is such a troll. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <cannot> believe <laughs> he is such a troll. I do not see that. B Mac, good morning. Um, I it's had to tag it. I just took the tag off this morning. Uh, good fella said, oh. Lindsay said, happy heavenly birthday to Aaliyah. Yeah, shout out to Aaliyah. Um, good morning, Only okay. King Gaming. Wilbert, thank you for the follow. We appreciate you. This is your first time here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Yes, it's our anniversary. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. So sorry. I invited somebody, child. Oh, oh Lord. One fighter, Eno. Oh, that's who you accidentally invited. It was an accident, baby, but stay around. Stay around. <laughs> Nigga P looking like a good candy, period. <laughs> Thank you, Absolute. Good morning. I can't go. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Happy anniversary to us, <laughs> period. I'm super excited. Um. I, w- I told Tam yesterday, I was like, I want to name all the awards yesterday. I was so excited uh, for everything. <laughs> oh, everything. I didn't pull up the ne- the other awards. That's okay. Which two you want to do today? I was thinking about The Biggest Troll. And... Do you want to do? Okay, we're going to do two more today. I got the thing here, so I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Uh, Tam. You glowing this morning, big good fella said. I don't know why I was gonna say big fella. To him. I, I I almost called him big fella the other day, but we do have somebody following us named Big Fella. Big fella, uh huh. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay said I'm dedicating anniversary from Tony, Tony, Tony to you, oh, ladies. That's Thank like you. That's him. Thank you, Lindsay. Uh, play anniversary by Tony, 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 Mr. Reese said, okay? We're about to we play it right now. Every day to that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats, ladies. Yes. <laughs> I need to sign in to work, child. Good morning. Good morning, Sky Bear. How you feeling, boo? Lindsay, you too early for your ish. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is y'all funny? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? <laughs> this is crazy. What did Lindsay do? He's talking about, hey, judge. The judge is not in until uh, Friday. 
my whole um Spotify acting crazy. I don't know. It kicked me out the other day. I don't know. Look, I don't know. Everything is moving way too slow right now for me. It's our anniversary. Were you able to get it? It's coming. It's 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 spinning the block. Here we come. <laughs> Y'all hair is almost the same. Yeah, we both got it. <laughs> is this look? Is this how we uh record in the night, <laughs> girl? We shall see. We shall see. Don't listen to them bricks. They don't respect my Thor tie. Girl. I it can't. feels a bit saying it's not available. I don't know. It's saying it's not available? I don't know what's going on with my... I want to I wanna listen to some music. Okay, here we go. It's, it's coming. It's, it's working now. <laughs> so bad I want to have connectivity issues so I don't have to work today. Absolutely not. Girl, you say that you're having connectivity issues because you can't connect your mind with work. Just... Say you haven't connected. They, they don't know. They don't know. That is true. You're having connectivity issues. Not really Good fella really. said, Tam, just sing it. No. I, no. <laughs> Absolutely said, just pay the bill, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the Spotify bill. <laughs> You silly. We paid it. It's definitely we, paid. Look, did we? <laughs> it's automatically coming out off that card, okay? <laughs> automatically. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a message that um my FedEx package is delayed, so I'm not going to have to go to work tomorrow because... Tomorrow good. will come, oh, girl. I can't wait. It's out. Can y'all hear it? Is run straight to you. It's our anniversary. So these backgrounds are showing up two different colors. It's got to be our phone settings or something. That's it could be the color that you have your um I mean, you know what I'm saying, the cool or warm that tones that you got your phone set on. You know what I'm saying? When you change the lighting. But it yours you actually me? looks purple. Like the other one looked blue. This one looks purple, it just looks lighter. But also you look lighter than me on my phone. Mm -hmm. So I think it got to do with the the brightness of your phone. No secret at the end of the day, it's our anniversary. Yeah, as you you giving more golden. I don't know what's going on. You giving me time. Uh -huh. um, so so absolute is incognito on this here app. <laughs> <laughs> this fella said he been trying to follow him. Sisters take two. Is this your first time with us? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> okay, now I'm standing. Hey, Jay Hardaway, how you feeling? Thank you so much for the roses. Sorry, I'm trying to hold on to my desktop and in today, which is why I was a little late. Um, first of all. They have these Chromebooks they give these kids. Leah knows how to work this Chromebook. And every time, it's the second time now, when we turned on the Zoom thing, you couldn't see her, but we could set up a background. I'm like, why we can't see you? I don't know. So I'm going through the settings. I'm trying to figure it out. Da, 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 da. Why is the switch at the top of the camera? Close. I'm like, Leah, I said, you got to turn this on. She's like, oh, I turned it off. 
ma'am, I'm sitting up here trying to <laughs> troubleshoot and all it is is a switch. She done covered up the camera. She ain't want to be seen. She said they, they don't need to see what's going on in my house. Bruh. I was like, you know what? He would have been on time. <laughs> Relax. Good morning. Good morning. I took I text something in the settings. What you talking about? He talking about the reason why people can't find him on this app. Thank you, Blossom. Good morning, Blossom. Thank you so it much. It is our anniversary, but it's your anniversary. <laughs> All y'all is working with us. It's our anniversary. The fella said, Tam, I love your shirt. Don't know what it says, but letters look great moving. <laughs> he is so bad. <laughs> great moving. It's our anniversary. Tony, Tony, Tony. And I love you in a special way. I remember. I remember the first kiss. Do you? Thank you, Lizzie, for sharing out the live. You know, um, Right now, we have three shares. Let's, 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 in the new year, have a sharing goal. Y'all, I want y'all to be sharing out the live. Bring your friends. If y'all don't want y'all friends to know that y'all be acting a fool over here, invite some strangers. That part. <laughs> also, um, before we get into our topic today, we would like to reach our uh, lease. Um, a quarter of our liking goal, which is 40K a day. So if y'all can get us to 10,000 likes and we will jump on into this conversation and AB, you say you don't even care? I think he don't care if people see him act a fool. Oh. I, 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 I believe that. Let's go with that. Yeah. If you're 100 shares a day... <laughs> Well, I was going to be really adventurous and say 20, but I mean, sure we ain't even got 50 or 100 people in. <laughs> but if they shed shit, they could get, we could get. <laughs> I stay confusions. I stay confusions. <laughs> Everyone I shared love when they start saying the shit we be saying. Right. I think um, 10 is, I mean, TikTok allows you to do 15 in one. Yeah, but two. it only shows, like, if you it's if one. you share to multiple at a time, it only show that you shared it one time. So, oh. yeah. Because down oh. here, it says that it's been six shares, and I shared it to five people myself. Oh. So, they and I see like, other uh, people sharing it, so. I don't see no shares. Thank you, Absolute. I see seven now. You don't? No, it could be because I got these um, enhancements on, though. Do it individually. Oh, it's a Absolute share to more than 10 friends. Yeah, but then, but then TT only counted as one share down here. Because if he shared it to more than 10 friends, it's saying it's only nine shares. Now 10. Oh, everybody shared it. Share it, share it, share it, share it. Share it. Uh, well, we know that it's going to multiple people, so it is what it is. Thank y'all so much for Thank sharing. Thank y'all for sharing out the live. And Thank also, keep on Good tapping morning. all over. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Goodies. Yes, 40k a day, 40k a day. Um, we only at 3.9 10, so we can start jumping in. So, can you tell us today? I just wanted everybody to see today. Today, we are talking about some relationship stuff. So, it was this thing, I don't know how many people have seen it or not. Thank you, Mocha. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, Lindsay, uh, for sharing. Um, Y'all know Rick Ross, Ricky Rose, period. Um, him and his new 
girlfriend, Christina Mackey, which I have no clue what she does or who she is outside of Rick Ross' current girlfriend. Um, if anybody else knows anything about her, y'all feel free to say that, but I don't really know, nor do I care. Um, oh, oh, that's your husband or your mind, Mocha? Really? Rick Ross ain't really my type. He is definitely my type. <laughs> Y'all, y'all know, chocolate bearded. But he's not attractive to me. I mean, he's chocolate he, and bearded, but he, he, his face is not. No, his face is not attractive to me either. But he's my type, and I like. Well, anyway, go ahead. Oh, huh, golly! I said we know Tam. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he's smooth too. Eh, I guess. He's I don't know. I, it's the face. I can't. I don't think he's smooth, though. I don't think he's cute. So I just be like, mm. he look like his breath stink to me personally. But go ahead. I could see that. He got swag. I like his swag a little bit, but it's not enough. Like he just like, oh, he okay. Uh, but anywho, his current girlfriend, Christina Mackey. Um has been clearly on this weekend going on this little campaign tour. Uh, <laughs> well, she was on somebody's podcast and they asked her about her relationship with him. She was speaking towards it. What in the hell is going on? <laughs> she was speaking towards it. And, you know, it was said that him and Pretty V, for, the, for those who know Pretty V or not, um, she's like a comedian or whatever. She got really popular doing skits on the internet, whatever. Um, they were dating. And so uh, now Pretty V is out the picture since this Christina Mackey girl has come along. But Christina Mackey tried to make his play down Ricky Rose and Pretty V's relationship. And she like, when has have, when have y'all seen him do a woman like he's been doing me? When? What are the pictures? Where's the proof? And the guy like, well, we know him and Pretty V was in a relationship when he wasn't with her like he with me because he's, you know, showering her with flowers and buying her watches and, you know, posted up places with her. She posting pictures and videos of her bringing him food and doing all and invalidates the relationship with Pretty V because him and Pretty V's wasn't out there out there. Exactly, Mocha. Why is she so bothered by it, though? Right? It's it's really giving. I, I, that is what I'm stuck on. Like, I like, like watches. Good. What good fella? Yeah, but I'm, I I was confused and why she was even talking about them because because when he I, asked her, he asked her about Pretty V, and all she but she just went on on like. Clearly, it wasn't what y'all thought it was because he she didn't get the, the treatment that I got. What are you talking about, Daddy? Well, listen. Why? But the thing is, is that clearly Ricky Rose done said something to her to make her feel validated in a way that she would be out here in these streets talking ish. But a lady doesn't behave that way. I don't need to tear you down and your relationship with him in order for my relationship with him to be great. Do you think he gave her uh, a green light? I don't... Not a don't, green light, but I feel like he must have... You know how niggas do? I ain't fuck with her like I fuck with you. And now she all she on a um campaign telling everybody he ain't fuck with her like he fuck with me. Girl, sit down. <laughs> so then, <laughs> so then came another video yesterday of her after everybody reaction to the podcast episode. Her another video yesterday talking about I guess people were calling her pick me. And so this in lies where the topic is the pick me conversation. Okay. Um, and so she was like, yeah, I am a pick me. He, I want him to pick me over and over and over again. And I'm going to pick him over and over again. Da, 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 and all this conversation, like she was just like taking it like, yes, I'm a pick me. It's nothing wrong with being a pick me because I want him to pick me and I want to pick him like personalizing it. 
Anywho, it was very much so giving. And then she was like, yeah, pick me. She was flashing a watch. Yeah, pick me, pick me, pick me. Yeah, pick me. Like, girl. So somebody put in the comments, like, it's clear that ain't no man ever spent no money on her like that. Because if she was used to that, um, it is super petty, Lindsay. If she was used to that, she wouldn't be flashing. Look, 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 look. Like, girl, a don't watch. Right. Because it wasn't a diamond ring. It was a watch. Hello? Let's be clear at what you got, the piece of jewelry he gave you. Because anybody could buy you a watch. Anybody could buy you a necklace. Anybody could buy you a, a bracelet. And they even can buy you a ring. But if they don't preface it that it's that proposal ring, what are we talking about? Absolutely. So it's my promise to you, baby, that I'm going to always stick by you. Nigga's good for that. Child, please. Also, I don't need you to stick by me. Be with me. Uh -huh. Be all in. I'm a uh, I'm stick back. What could be happening if he made forty eight thousand on his Walmart job? Um, absolutely not. Probably not. I mean, but also, good fella, this is some rich people ish, right? Well, he's the rich one. Pretty V makes deep money, I guess. I don't know Christina Mackey life. Anywho. But this probably is happening. I think it is happening on lower levels of in non-famous people, right? Um, and it probably is women out there with a man with a 48K thousand Walmart job. So I said, look what he got me. He got me this bag. He got me this coat. He got me, he got me this Timex from Walmart. Right. From his right. And they be, they'll be happy like trying to throw baby, it in if people. if you out there, you work for Walmart and you buy me a Timex, I'm going to love it. Mocha said there is definitely something wrong with being a pick me type. Absolutely. So let's so the whole question I was coming about from this, I was just giving y'all a little context. And time uh, to first, get them likes up. Right. First of all, about women, how do y'all feel about the previous woman to you? Like if somebody did ask you a question about them, how would you respond? Like, would it be like, oh, clearly they didn't have what we have. Like, I don't know. That just gives me kind of cringe. Um, and men, how would y'all feel if your new girlfriend was talking about your previous girlfriend or y'all pre your previous situation like that? Again, put this in our circles, not in a rich category, okay, or a famous one. But in our circles, how would that make you feel? And then the second question for uh, everybody, men and women, how do y'all feel about pick me's? Do y'all understand that mindset? Man, do y'all really like pick me women? Or, and women, like Mocha said, there's something definitely wrong with being a pick me type. What so I'm, I'm going to read the definition of pick me real quick so everybody can be very clear what it is. A pick me girl is a woman who obsessively desires male approval and validation often at the expense of other women, which is exactly what she did. You got to tear down other people in order for you to feel validated. Exactly. Thank you, Mocha. Exactly. I cannot speak on his past relationships. Um, Blossom said she'll learn the hard way. Goodfellow said facts. Jay Hardaway said it gives him a pass as long as he spends money the way he wants. Mm -hmm. Absolute said with the calculator. Goodfellow said noted. I don't know what he took note of, but okay. Then I said I would with his time X. Oh. at Walmart. But also, I probably wouldn't date the guy But go ahead. Good morning, Gator Girl. How you feeling, love? Good morning, little butterfly. How you feeling, love? Uh, good morning, ladies. Good morning, Ryan. I don't know if you heard me before. Just saying it again. Mocha said, my response would be, I cannot speak on his past relationships. You can ask him or her about it. Period, Mocha. And that's how a lady handles her business. A yeah. real lady. I can't stand a pick me. It screams I want attention. For sure, Lindsay. Um, hey Jen, how you feeling, love? Jay Hardaway said it's hating. Period. <laughs> Period. And he was like, that's it. I understand what I gotta say. 
Miss Marie says, sounds like desperation. Ooh. It's definitely. Pick-me's are annoying, Lindsay said. Okay, to you. Get a girl said, I'm wonderful. That's good, girl. Uh, she is hanging out there for dear life. Pick me. Get a girl. <laughs> I can't stand her. <laughs> Ryan said, anybody before me doesn't exist in my world. Exactly, Ryan. I am the shit, okay? We won't so, be talking about her. Pepper of broad syndrome. Oh, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Those can be pick me too. Absolutely, Lindsay. Oh my gosh, they so want to be. They definitely can. That is so unattractive. Um. Okay. So yeah, I guess me and Tam will continue to give our comments until we get to the y'all tap faster. Y'all supposed to be tapping like this, you know? You know the way y'all be fucking. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Scott said, I feel like some men are capping. Pick me sometimes induces a man's ego and they enjoy. Just my thought. Period. The truth of thought. Yes. She just had Period. to say it. Now tell them, Scott, they out here capping for real. Oh, that fool said not a rabbit. I can't. <laughs> be, be a rabbit on them likes. Y'all ain't tapping on, um, that's what girl over there. Wait a minute. Uh, Lindsay said, I used to be a pick me until a female told me it was not cool. Okay. 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 I like your vulnerability. I, it, I was going to say, I like the fact your honesty. Yeah. Because I, a lot of people that that's how they move. Now, yeah. now for me personally, um, I... I think on the inside, I might be feeling like I want to be chosen or pick me in that way, but I would never, ever to your face <laughs> drag your ex. Now, I might be telling my girls a few things about it, but I wouldn't be like telling you she ain't shit in order to make myself, to elevate myself. Like, that's not cool. But I might tell my girls that she's a brace face body locks. Ashton, good morning. Is this your first time with us? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Jay Hardaway said it's low self-esteem if you need someone to boost your confidence. It definitely is, Jay Hardaway. Um, uh, unfortunately, a lot of us deal with low self-esteem. A lot of us. Okay. Some of the most beautiful people seriously have low self-esteem because it's it's not always about the outward appearance. It's something broken inside of you yeah. that that make you have low low self-esteem. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you got low self-esteem because you're ugly, but I'm saying like that's not always the case. <laughs> it's not. I know plenty of beautiful people. One of my um, cousins, one of her best friends. When I tell y'all she is so pretty, mm -hmm. drop dead gorgeous, and this girl does not see herself that like the world sees her. Mm -hmm. And even though she is drop dead gorgeous, she's pretty, like all it like it means nothing to her because internally and mentally she does not feel that way about herself. She Again, the low self-esteem. Low self-esteem can hit anybody. It can hit the gore most gorgeous and handsome person and mm -hmm. the most not so attractive person. It right. does not matter. It is a mentality. It is a feeling. It's all of the things internally. Um, and we people will be looking from the outside in like, why you got low self-esteem? Look at you. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what has been pouring into that person. People telling them they're not good enough. They this, they that. You don't know. Right. So, you know, I think, you know, that's something. Ashton, thank you so much for joining. I'm so sorry. I just got to your comment. I be pausing them, child. Um, Darren says, shaking my head, pick me. <laughs> what? Sure will, Scott said. Uh, Virgo Nation, baby. What? What are y'all talking about? How do we get to Virgos? Because Big Brown Curvy Girl said my Virgo is virgo in this morning. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Hey, Big Brown Curvy Girl. What it do, boo? 
<sighs> and I know that most men, um, I saw your comment, confidence looks better on you than issues. Absolutely good fella. And I know a lot of men um, will say that I've heard that so many times in the past. Like, I like a confident woman. And I'm like, do you really like a confident woman? Because I feel like y'all say that. And y'all also like for a woman not to be that too much confident. Because I think that they do like confident women to look at, to sleep with, get the other women to control. The low self esteem, uh -huh. the women that have, you know, uh, maybe desperate, maybe they they pick on your flaws, child. They zone into that. But a confident woman, yes, I agree. They I, That's why I said they like to say it, but do you really want a confident woman? Because when you get a confident woman, then your insecurities, if you're not secure enough in yourself, start to like show up. And and sometimes, sometimes. um. So, good fella, we, we, we are talking about I think that we are speaking about men who also let lack some confidence, right? Yeah. And so they will take a confident woman and then start trying to break her down. Just keep on chipping away until he get away you want her. Um, I, Jody? Hey, this guy's beautiful. And he said, what up, twins? How you doing? Is this your first time of year? <laughs> she had a lot of people put her down. Exactly. Um, good fella. I will let you up as soon as we get to 10, babe. I'm so sorry. But yeah, that's the new rule. 10 uh -oh. times Almost. Lights. Just wait in the waiting room. Stay right there. Please. Um, I can now see every P. So the set and change and worked. Yeah, but I still, let me see. Mother, I still don't know if I can pin comments. Good morning, Jody. Welcome. This is your first time here. <laughs> we fight together. What? Who's fighting? What's happening, Amy? <laughs> Good morning, Jerry Brown. How you feeling? Somebody rocking, knocking your boots. Yeah. So, um, no, I changed my name. Well, what was your old name, child? Because I don't recall this picture. This say, this say, PhD, my fucking Jody. Yeah, yeah. No, That's don't it. leave though, sir. Cause and keep your thought. We Lindsay almost see it. And, and they tapping their lives away. Thank y'all so much. We see y'all liking. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all. Um. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, PhD, Jody. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I definitely feel like, um, yeah, I don't think I've ever been a, a pick me. I've, I've always wanted to be chosen, but I never was one to like throw dirt or anything like that for a man's attention. It's like, I'm going to show you how great I am. And if you don't see it, I don't know what else to tell you at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have to tear down other people to get seen or whatever. Except for Gator Girl. Gator Girl, I see you down there in them comments. Leave him alone. Why would I <laughs> Cute women never had to be pick -me's. No, I don't think that's I true. Agree with that. I don't think that's true. That's what I'm saying. It just depends. It depends. Good morning, Romeo. How you feeling, love? Happy New Year, you Romeo. Absolutely the word to use, chosen. Exactly, good fella. Yeah, I've always wanted to be chosen on my own marriage. Now, did I have low self-esteem? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Did I not see the beauty within my own self? That if this person does not see me or whatever, if they don't validate me, that's okay. But it took a lot of years to get to that point, you know. And again, people may be like, oh, you're beautiful. But 
Thank y'all for the 10,000. Shout out to y'all. Keep it going. Do not forget our 10K a day. Um, we don't have no gifts, though. What y'all doing? But go ahead. They were too busy like gifts. The floor is yours, sir. The floor is yours. Well, good morning. Good morning. Um, yes, Tim, you, you, you're beautiful this morning, of course, as always, but good morning again. Portia, good morning to you, too. Um, yeah, listen, um, it's a, it's a poor man that doesn't praise his own palm. And if you have a woman who is attractive and who is very beneficial to you, um, you would take the time to appreciate her greatness and appreciate her character and the things that she does for you and for your relationship. And if, if you're so small minded to wait to have someone who is confident and, and all you do is pick her apart, that shows a lot about your lack of confidence and your lack of self-esteem, self-esteem when you can take the woman who should be by your side and being everything you can and tear her apart. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, a real man wouldn't do that. A real man is absolutely going to appreciate the greatness and what's beside him. Absolutely. Agreed. Agreed. But do you agree, Goodfellow, quick question, that um, it takes time to really become a real man? Like, because we don't always get it right the first time, oh. right? Oh, becoming a real man is an absolute process. Yes. You're not you're not born a good man. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not born that. Um, that mm -hmm. comes through trial and error. It comes through lessons. It comes through experiences. Um, it comes through a lot of different things. And any man who is a great man will let you know that he he wasn't a great man at first. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'll speak personally. Um, the man that I know that I am. Um, I only got here because of my faults and my mistakes and the things that I did that were wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and I can, I can write a book about the things that I did wrong, mm -hmm. but I got, but I got tired of being wrong. I got tired of making bad decisions. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to be the man that I know my father taught me to be, I had to man up, start making better decisions and start doing the things that I can look at myself at in the mirror and be proud of the things that I do. Um, so it's it's an absolute process to become a great man. Absolutely. Yeah. So that therein lies. I mean, it's not a problem, but, you know, if you have men that are going through the process, but they're also still dating and women are encountering these men and, you know, um, it's like, like you said, you've been there, done that for yourself. Like, what are we supposed to do if we keep encountering men like that? Some people don't even go through their process until way later in life. But mm -hmm. now we 40, 50, like, what are we talking about? <laughs> how, how long or what do we do? Do you think that people should just not date and wait? 40 or 50. No, I think, I think okay. every man and every woman should build up their radar. Should absolutely build up their should build up their radar. One for men and women, you shouldn't be dating unless you're whole. If you got a lot of things you going through and a lot of things you dealing with, you should not be dating. You know, perfect per, perfect example. Who's gonna stand out in 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 a in a puddle of water trying to pick it up with a net? You can't do it because there are holes in your net. In our individual lives, you're trying to pick somebody for your life. You're trying to choose somebody for your heart, and you still got holes in your life. No, you got to take the time to mend the things that are wrong with you. The problem is a lot of people fear being alone. A lot of people fear being by themselves and think there's something wrong because I don't have somebody or nobody is looking at me in a certain way. Well, people are going to look at you that way until you get to the point to wear your hole because you can't be the person that you're going to be for somebody else until you become whole. Whether that takes uh, 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 going to therapy, whether it takes going through whatever, take the time to become whole, then present yourself to people. 
Hey, um, DP. Good morning, DP. I think that's why women end up being pick me's because they are unhealed. Um, and so they so desperately want to be chosen that they um, become pick me's and they tear down their good sisters and in order to elevate themselves because that's the only way that they can see themselves at a certain level. Um, but the same thing is to be said about men. It's the same thing. Um, and a lot, uh, uh, it's such a tricky thing because yes, Gator Girl, therapy is key, but a lot of us don't realize that or think that we need therapy or think anything is wrong with you. So you say, oh, don't date until you have dealt with your trauma. But a lot of us don't realize that we have trauma and we just go about and because everybody wants to be loved is innate in us. That's what we are, you know, built to desire that connection with someone. And but we don't realize the traumas until you go through the trials and tribulations until you mess up until you you know what i'm saying and it's like well you didn't already broke a few hearts at this point and now you realize the error in your ways i mean i guess it's inevitable we can't stop heartbreak um and it helps shape us um but it's it's interesting it's really interesting i i don't know everyone can use the benefits of therapy i agree they become heifer broads okay amy <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Lindsay. What say ye on this whole you dig? Because this is well. Good fun. morning, uh, ladies, and uh, you digs and Hashi Tashi. Um, Hashi. <laughs> so I was a pygmy. I was mm -hmm. one of them dudes that was like, "Why she don't want to be with me?" Come pick me. I'm the better dude. Why are you over here with this guy? Why are you? Why I can't get the woman I want and this and that? I was one of them dudes. Mm -hmm. Until the, a woman came along and said, it is unbecoming of you as a man for you to sit there and constantly know why don't you get picked? If mm -hmm. you were to get chosen, you were going to get chosen regardless. You saying pick me because I'm a good agree. guy, that don't necessarily mean anything. Agree. So I had to learn that, though. And even right. what Goodfellow was saying, I had to look back. I had to look at myself. I was telling you guys not too long ago, I had to do the mirror thing. I had to look in the mirror. I had to go back to that 10-year-old. I had to fix that trauma and mm -hmm. those things that were binding me and holding me back. Mm -hmm. And then I found the woman that I was looking for. And I didn't even find her. We just found each other. So yeah. that's the thing is that therapy is a must. Sitting down with yourself is a must. And I was also one of those people. I did not like being alone either. <laughs> I yes. actually, I hate it even now. I hate being alone. But I had to learn. I took a year where I didn't date. I didn't talk to anyone, no woman, no nothing. I just sat with myself yeah, and dealt yeah. with my issue. There is nothing worse than to deal with somebody with unchecked trauma and issues in their life. That is some of the worst stuff you can put on somebody and then put that energy on that individual. Can do. Y'all have a good one. You, thank you, Lindsay. Thank you for sharing. I totally agree. Um, it is the worst because you dumping your trauma on somebody else. And now I already have my own trauma and now I'm taking on your trauma. It's just a lot. Now I got to process through all of this. Or asking um, me to heal what's broken in you and your trauma. Yeah. Um, and now, oh, damn, Romeo, come back. And now I'm fucked up because I'm trying to fix you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not it's neither one of our jobs to fix each other. It's not. Well, I'm I'm ignoring my shit because I'm dealing with your shit. And so man. We gotta we're supposed to be add-ons to each other, bonus you know, resources and I can help you process your stuff, 
um, yes, we can heal together. Yes, but it's like if we're but not, you got to be doing some some work, and I yeah. got to be doing some work. <laughs> if you're unwilling to recognize your flaws and see all of that, and that's a whole other thing. I think nowadays I could deal with somebody, even if you're not completely whole, because I'm not completely whole. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes that's that could be potentially unrealistic, depending on life, mm -hmm. right? I could understand somebody being further along in their journey, journey. But, you know, I don't feel like I'm that deep. I, I know I'm still working on some stuff. I know mm -hmm. I'm still mending some things within myself. And for me to date, I will have to date somebody that's on the same journey as me. Somebody that's also working on their stuff. I cannot date somebody that does not recognize their trauma, that's not um, knowledgeable about their flaws and all that type of stuff and not doing no work. It ain't going to work for me. Because we're already unequally yoked because I'm in this space and you're over here and you don't want to recognize your ish, but I'm recognizing my, I ain't going to be able. So in order for me to date, it's going to have to be somebody that is currently actively working on themselves mm -hmm. and or, dang, okay. <laughs> and or. <laughs> we want to hear what y'all say. <laughs> <laughs> they like, let us talk now. And or um, somebody that is whole, that is yeah. further along in their journey, you know. But I think that's asking a lot because I know I'm not where I'll be ultimately. Who the hell, Justin? I don't know. Um, Lindsay said you will lose your mind trying to fix other people. Absolutely, and we don't recognize they uh, who don't recognize their own trauma. Who don't? Plenty of people. There's plenty of people that be around. No, I don't think that was the question. I think he was saying trying to fix oh, people who don't recognize their own trauma. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, Gabe Girl said, child, I have, in my goodness, that was the longest healing journey. Listen. Okay, this guy said she'll be back. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Juma. Uh, <laughs> these roses, child. I can't. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it, it's, it's definitely interesting. Um, yeah, I, I would definitely have to be with somebody that's willing to heal and that's on their journey. It just cannot be no other way for me right now. Um, and the only reason why I've taken myself off the dating scene at this moment is because, uh, it's a lot of trash out here, and I don't have time. <laughs> I have no time. Oh, Talk about what what did Goodfellas say earlier? Uh, we need to something with the man. What did he say? I don't know. You talk about the holes in the net? No, before that, he said the stand. It wasn't the standard. It was something. I forgot. But yeah, no, it is definitely a bunch of poop pee. All types of stuff floating around in the pool. I can't. Hey, Sky Bear. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Hey, um, <clears throat> I did want to say that um, way back, way back in the days when I was way younger, um, I don't know if I was a pick me or insecure, but some men have, know how to hone in on a pick me, right? Um, and that's what goes back to what me saying that. Some men enjoy a pick me. They want somebody to be after them. They want somebody to 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 think they're the only person. They want somebody to be like, hey, I'm here. I'm gonna do this, that, third, and the other. Um, so in in a in the state of um being insecure or not whole, um, some men do focus in on that as well. Um we need to be letting these men know that. That is not acceptable. Men and women need to let these men know that that is not acceptable. And women do it too. Um, you know, they'll find a pick me, a dude that may have low self-esteem, but he got money. Or, you know, he's going to do this, that, third, and the other for you. And, you know, um, he wasn't the most secure or, you know, he, he, he wasn't the best person at work. You know what I'm saying? So we do that. I think pick me's is a, is a, is a word that we use. But it, it really just goes to, like, um, Blossom says, the insecurity thing. Um, and, and I think um, it's not like somebody's like, treat me like crap. Yes, do that. Just pick me. 
that's not a normal thing. So we really have to deep down what, why do they want to be a pick me? You know, what, what caused that, you know? Um, and then why are these men honing in on that? Um, they always used to say, don't like somebody more than they like you, but that's usually what happens. And then they get the short end of the stick. All right. Lock me, drop me. I'm done. What is up with y'all today? Everybody I, I have no idea. I have no idea. This is <laughs> trigger warning, trigger warning. Like, what's happening? <laughs> Usually, you can't get their asses out the box. I'm telling you. Well, not well, not Sky. She always, she always jump out after she say what she got to say. <laughs> Bro. Um. Another thing I think that people do, I. I'm really thinking men in this moment because I, I was dating this guy that did this. You know, they create um, a, a chaser. They will say stuff like, I want to I, I wanna wake up to a good morning. <laughs> Too. And you never call me. Next thing you know, the shit then all been flipped, and then you the one always reaching out, and they just sitting back, getting all the good morning texts like they the woman. But they got you texting the uh, five other bitches. Everybody is racing to be the first one to say good morning to his dumb ass. So I saw a video recently. I don't know if you shared that to me or not, but um. Uh... A lady was speaking about living in her feminine energy and she was like, how can I live in my feminine energy if you are taking up that role yeah. <laughs> by wanting, uh, why you ain't calling me? Why you ain't doing this? Why you like, it's so many men out there like that now that, you know, think that they, and I want to be very clear. I'm not saying that men are not a prize as well. They are. You guys are kings. Y'all are worthy of love and appreciation. Thank you so much, Nikki Nick. Thank you, Nikki. She still ain't changed that damn name. Nope. 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 Uh, next time you with her, I'm going to need you to do it for her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they you want attention. Yes, they want attention too, Lindsay. And it's nothing wrong with you wanting attention or feeling wanted or needed and seen and heard. I think that's great. But it's it's a it's a thin line to tread when you want to interest it as a two-sided street. It is. I want it, it interest is a two-sided street. I want to be clear. I'm not saying that it's that you should not show interest. I think um, a lot of these guys are taking it more, I don't know if it's literal, you need to be running up after me type of behavior with it, more so than the, I just want you to show me that you're just as interested as I'm interested. It's a lot of guys out here like, I ain't calling her, she ain't calling me, and I ain't doing, and then it, did it, like, What? You want to be chased, sir. You, you want, want to be you, chased. That's instead of you is. being the hunter, you want to be the chase E. Right. Um, we, I'm not doing that. Right. And, and it's nothing wrong with being a hunter, but also being desired. It's, but, that's what I'm saying. It's you a I'm going to show you the desire. If the desire is there, I am going to be reciprocal. But I should not have to be the one calling you every day, checking for you every day, running up behind your ass every day. You they don't like that shit. And don't be throwing in my face, well, I called you last. That's that type oh of energy. God. You see what I'm saying? Are it's we a 16? difference. It's a different. It's like, eh, like, what are we talking about? You call me last. Okay, so call me again. Like, <laughs> I, I don't understand. If I mean, listen, if I'm not. Hey, Elijah. If I'm not um, returning your calls, if I'm not picking up when you call, if you text me and I don't text back for two, three hours, okay, that is different. Yeah. But if you are reaching out to me and I'm responding and I'm like, hey, babe, when I answer the phone, I'm obviously excited to hear 
from you and talk to you and I'm sitting on the phone with you for hours. If I'm doing all of that, I am showing interest. It doesn't matter that I didn't call you first this time. Like if you're really literally sitting back and saying, I call her um, first the, the, the last three times, yep. I'm going to wait and see if she called me. You're not my guy. Like seriously, I I don't I don't want to be with anybody that's literally sitting back and calculating who did what to who first. Like yeah, yeah, and I think that that's you came the last um five times and I didn't, so maybe I should Ooh. call you last no more. Ooh, <laughs> you what? You sorry. what? Sorry, I'm sorry. Say it again. This is why my ass is over here by my fucking self. Say it again. Bullshit going on. You know, you all, you the one getting the excitement, and my ass sitting over here waiting for the paint to dry, nigga. And I still answered the damn phone. He's sending me roses. I can't stand you. And I, okay. (laughs) Stop playing with me. Like and, and it's that it's the game, and I think that more so speaks towards the games there is in dating and relationships. Because people do it past the dating stage; they do it in relationships and be like, "No," nah. and then we take on these roles that we weren't even meant to be in in the first place. And then you get mad when I get excessive in my role because you gave me all this mm-hmm. leeway, all this leverage, all of this. Like, dude, you can't have it both ways. Some people just start. No, Jay, I agree. You cannot go a whole week or a month without communicating. But if if we have genuine interest in each other, then we probably are not going that long. But I'm going to tell you what. If I text you, let me just say this right now. If I text you or I call you and you do not return said text or call, I'm not retexting or recall it. I'm not. I'm not. And if you are unalive, then so be it. Because I'm not going to keep on calling and chasing no damn body. So how do y'all feel about that, man? I'm interested to know what you what you think about that. Because if you're if you want to communicate with somebody and they didn't answer, and just like you want them to give you grace. With if you don't answer, sorry, game girl, sorry, a call or a text. What's that about? You also, I'm gonna add on top of that. If every time I text you or call you, it take you hours to respond. Mm -hmm. AB said, "If I miss the call, I'm at your door." See that? <laughs> okay. Well, don't come to my door though, because I, I don't play that shit. Your ass will still be standing out there. Don't come. Don't come here unannounced. But, but also, yeah. I get your point. I'm confusion. <laughs> but this is if you're in a relationship. That still fly with that. No, my ex used to always just show the fuck up. I don't know. Right. So he had a key. He said my keyword. Yeah, he had a key. He just right. He used to call. After a while, he was just like, "Hey, exactly. Did you cook yet?" (laughs) Hello. Good morning. How y'all doing? Hey, Mister Reese. Hey, let me ask you a question. Why does there have to be a time limit for somebody to respond? Because because nowadays, um, Mr. Reese, we our phones are attached to us. We're on it constantly. You know, if you're not talking on it, you're on social media, you're responding to emails and texts or whatever. And so it is unrealistic to think that someone has not looked at their phone in a matter of hours anymore. And certainly don't let me see your motherfucking green light on, on social media. And I text you two hours ago, nigga, we done. But that, that person could be, could have been doing anything. They could have been busy. They could have been working. They could, it could have been an emergency. Okay, okay, but you didn't hear what I said. I said, if that's always the case, if it happened today because you was in meetings, 
that's different. But I'm still, if you a doctor, if I'm dating a doctor, okay, you saving lives. But um, if you will work at the local Starbucks, you can call me back. You can text me back. And it don't, it should not be taking hours. Well, no, maybe Starbucks, because Starbucks, they be real busy in it. But anyway, the point is, it is not realistic to say I was so busy every single time I reach out to, to them. I was so busy Sunday through Saturday that it took me two hours. I know you're not interested in me. Period. You know, what is the case? It is always the case. It is always the case. Because if it took somebody two hours to text you back, they not interested? I said if it's always that way. Always. I'm not always. saying that, like, you know, you could have, it's, it's, it's true, you could have been very busy today, right? But that you're not that busy every day that it, it, you're dragging out responding to me. That means you're not fucking interested. It's other things that have your attention. Yeah, because if somebody really is that interested, y'all already in me, making excuses for bad behavior. That don't mean just because they green light on don't mean they on social. Uh, but anyway, before I turned that off, because I don't need you to know my movements, bro. Anywho, uh, but also, <laughs> I I do agree with that, Sam. Because if I know that when I'm interested fully. I'm because, oh, you know, I was busy. But when I'm interested, no matter when you call or text, I, I smile and I start responding. Hey, what's <laughs> up? How you doing? Exactly. Like, I'll be ready. Exactly. Uh, but if, if you just cool, then you know I'm I'll respond in a minute. And then I go off, and then I'll be like, oh shit, I ain't never respond. Yeah. Now that has happened to me a many a times, Tam. And I'm like, dang, I meant to respond the whole day then went by. God dang it. Mm -hmm. Then the next time I talk to her, like, I'm so sorry, I was so busy. Which I do be busy. I do be busy. But also I make time for what I want to make time for, just like everybody else. Yes. Also, she be leaving me on red for two hours all the time. I just wonder why does that bother women so much? Oh, why do you say it bother women? It don't bother y'all? Not really. I'm supposed to say it bothered because I was recently doing Reese, we can't even listen to you. You've been married for 50, 11 years. Y'all probably don't call and text all day because y'all y'all see each other tonight. When we, first, when we first started, I'm not going to lie, when we first started, we would text back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, talk, talk, talk. But some days when I don't respond to her, she get mad. First of all, but, it's really just I text you and you can't even be bothered enough. You supposed to fuck with me, but you can't be bothered enough to simply respond. Yeah, I'm not. I'm me. I'm not the, the dude that is my guy. He's not going to do that to me. He's not going to have me waiting hours for a reply from him. He's not going to forget to respond because he's going to want to talk to me as much as I want to talk to him. He gonna want to talk to me, Mister Reese. I um, my ex is a terrible communicator on the phone, via text, call, WhatsApp, whatever. His parents used to complain about it. Like he don't return calls, he don't respond to messages, he don't like he just didn't do it well. And I knew this early on dealing with him, but also. He made it a point to be different with me. And I also set the standard or expectation that I don't give a goddamn who you don't talk to. Me? You are always going to respond to my call and text. And he agreed and obliged me. And the whole time we were together, I never had an issue once getting in contact with him. Once. If I if he missed my call, he will call me right back. If I if he uh, I, I if I message him and he miss it. Or whatever, it'll take him a few minutes. Oh, he'll call me instantly. He wouldn't even text back. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. I missed. Da, 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 da. I was doing this. Cool. Because you can avoid everybody else. You cannot communicate with everybody else. And people will still reach out to me like, 
Where is he? What's going on? I've been messaging him. I've been calling him. I'm like, would you please answer these folks so they can leave me alone? But I set that standard from the get go. You, there's never a time. There's never a time. Because if I'm if I'm communicating with you when we're not in the same space, it's for a reason, and I need you to be there for me in that moment. Just the same, I'm being there for you. You know what I'm saying? But it, I think it's something. I don't. I don't agree or with I that in my relationship. You. Right. I don't agree with that in my relationship. Like, if I'm communicating with you, I want you to communicate with me and be just as excited as I am. If we're not in a relationship, that's a whole other thing. If I'm um, I'll read it sometimes. Okay, I saw your message. See what I can't say you. But my man, no. I need you to be there because I'm be there. Period. Hey, baby. Yeah. My level of like itness by my response time and my responses. How I respond to you, if I'm responding to you with one or two word answers, I the Jay said, "God damn that noise!" <laughs> Listen, we've been asking for months. What the hell he doing? He said he ain't doing nothing. <laughs> we still don't know we ain't out the mystery yet. Oh, oh, hey, gang girl. <laughs> Girl. What's up, baby? Can I say something really quick? Say what you gotta say. Okay, I wanted to speak on the communi- the communication with uh men and women. So um my take on that and y'all don't eat me up, but like I said, y'all saw my comment. My dad, he's really bad with communication. Like I could have mm-hmm. got jumped by some midges and he would not know until he gets home from work type situation. But when it's an emergency, it's like he knows and I can get a hold of him. But it's like simplicity stuff, like the kind of shucking job. I really, he don't, I don't know. It's like they don't really care about stuff like that. But if it's like business, if uh, money or the household, okay, cool, you know? Like with men, my brothers, my my granddad, I can call. If I just want to call and talk, you literally get two seconds with him and he's ready to hang up the phone. I don't know. It's just for me when it comes to men and communicate. Now, I'm saying when I'm dating a guy, you get a day. If I text you today, right, and you don't respond that day, day. I'm in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> because people work. People work. Okay. The job is listen, eight hours. Hold, listen. I, yes, 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 yes. And do people do have breaks. People have lunch. Correct, correct. So you should text me sometime or something. So, like I said, I give you a day. I give you a day. That next day, if you ain't saying something, we got a problem. I do have a problem. I do. I'm That's not just now. This is during the dating phase. You do not have this a dating phase. This is the dating phase. This is the dating phase. Now, married, married. So now my parents been married for 30, 38 years. Okay. So me just watching them with this communication, it's like, like I said, my dad, it, the phone with them, I don't, I don't know. It's just, he, he's bad with, with reaching, you know, texting, phone, but when it's something like if my mom was like, hey, I need you to go to the store and get this, he's there. But her just like, oh, I miss you or something. It'll take forever before he responds mm-hmm. because that's just him. But he'll respond. But he's mm-hmm. just not somebody who just sits back and be like shooting the shooting the shiz with her all day. So let that me ask sense. you this because you said earlier, and I think you was talking about your dad or maybe your brothers, but you said... Uh, that they don't respond to my dad. I said he's dusty. And you said, but if it's business, he'll be mm-hmm. there. So that mm-hmm. means he saw my text. Mm-hmm. And I, mean, I don't know. If, I don't know if my dad saw. He probably no, didn't. if he saw the business text and responded to that, but didn't yeah. respond to my text. He saw my text, set the phone down, 
<laughs> we did something else. No, he can't be my guy. Can't be my guy. The Lord, Lord, the Lord is not going to send me that guy because he knows that Dan Tam is going to but, first but it's, make but up it's, a story in her mind because that's what I do. I got made be so up a whole situation. Though you know they think so different than we do. You got to think I don't about give a that. Damn, damn, how he think. He need to be thinking. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dean. Okay. No, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Get it back. Go no, no, no. Ahead. I get it. I get it. I, I, I'm just saying. But ahead, I, I, get, I get what you said. I get what you said. But I'm just saying. But just off of experience, just my brothers and my dad, just watching them, they are total opposites. They don't be thinking like that. And just watching them two operate over so many. It's funny. And they are complete opposites. They don't think like us. They just mm-hmm. don't. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. They don't yeah. think like it takes goals. a long time to build that. Like I said, with my, with my mom and dad, just watching them to like he knows, you know, not to ignore her like that. He knows better than that. He ain't gonna just deliberately like, oh man, f her type situation. But what right. I'm saying is, is she don't just sit there and be sending TikToks all day. Like I'm, what I guess I'm trying to say is. A lot of men just don't sit on their phone all day and be worried about their phone for real if they're busy. If they okay, got a lot so going on. I'm glad you brought that up because okay. if I'm dating you, I'm dating right. a guy, and so we're around each other all the time. Mm-hmm. I I see how much you on your phone. No, right? that's different. If you on your well, phone a lot, so now you're not together, and now you ain't on your phone. Yeah, now you I did problem. date a guy. I did. I'm. I'm being. I dated a couple guys that didn't. That wasn't always on their phone. Mm-hmm. They was not. If they were with me, um, especially the last guy I dated when he was with me. He was with me, like he was like this, locked in, which is also why I had some crazy fantasy that we was going to actually like be together. But anyway, he was not on his phone with me. And so now when we're not together and he doesn't respond, I think he with the next bitch. I don't know. Fuck it. I'm going to work on the overthinking. Oh. He, he ain't responding to me because he giving her the same attention he was just giving me yesterday. I think there's something to be said about habits and um, how people are when they are in your presence and outside of your presence. Um, and Gator Girl, I hear what you're saying. And AB made the point that remember when we had to wait till I came home to talk. But we don't yeah. have to but that's, that's not the space we're in anymore. And yes, it was. It is a sweet spot indeed. But I think it's something to be said about <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? I think it's um I think it's important to see and get a girl like you said your dad knew better not to do that with your mom but you you if you uh, allow that in the dating phase oh my God, to okay, wait a whole uh, day to respond to you or don't communicate with you and you like i'm gonna give you a day well that's the expectation you're setting like i said i set an expectation for my husband mm-hmm. and told him that i'm not going to wait you need to respond to me and, and i was going to say that too p like yeah, i'm i'm communicating for a reason whether it's just to say hello or i'm thinking about you regardless i expect you to respond to me mm-hmm. and if you expect if you set that expectation that you can wait a whole day without talking to me even though you feel some type of way about that then i think that's the wrong communication Which, i don't think she feels away you don't feel away right gator girl if it if it take them a day Mm, not so much yeah okay. she says she don't feel that uh, that way but for mm-hmm. me I that wouldn't fly like and um I know that there was a time when I did have to wait to see you when you got home or try to call you on your job and they'd be like uh, he busy whatever the hell oh well, you worked at McDonald's and we couldn't call you listen I remember those days okay cause you know but and i remember the pager days i remember all of those things but here we are with phones attached to our person at all times there's no reason why you can't even 
even if I called you and you were busy, it mm -hmm. takes a second to send a text. I'm busy, babe. I'll call you mm -hmm. later. A second. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not saying you got to sit on the phone with me for hours if you busy. True. I get that. But it does not take all of that to be like, I'm busy. True. Unless you are a surgeon, I don't understand <laughs> why you can't simply send a smoke signal. Hmm. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah. Let these niggas wait a day to call you back unless you got a heavy rotation. See, if I don't have no rotation, See, and that's the thing that they have the rotation full, baby. You can't be out here with just one. No, I don't. Know. I can't. You know what? I can't move like that. First of all, first of all, half these niggas, I don't even like them. They be irritating me. They voice me irritating. And that's why you got to have your rotation on. You got to have the rotation going. No, nah, I don't need to pay. Other one can see that, so, I'm the and they all want to clap cheeks. I'm not clapping no cheeks. See what I'm saying? So I got to move to the next one, and the next one, and then this yeah. one. Like, you see what I'm saying? No, 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 no. no. Yes. You got to keep them coming. Yeah. So, yes. so I'm gonna tell you why yes. I don't have no damn um, rotation because people stupid. So I told this guy. I, I told this guy recently, I said, I'm not actively dating right now. And, um, you know, we could be cool, but no, we cannot meet up. None of that for this amount of time. The nigga called the next day and was like, first of all, he's not like he was singing. I, I, I don't like no goofy ass nigga. I told y'all from the hood. I need me a nigga. He sound like he was singing a song. Hey, Tam. What the fuck? Like, okay, so that was number one. Title. And then um, he was stuttering a lot. I, I didn't like that either. Couldn't get his thoughts together. And then he was like, I, I need to see you. I just told you yesterday you can't see me. What what are we talking about? Yeah. So now he's blocked. Listen, I I can't. I <laughs> wow. <laughs> now I don't like you anymore. I don't know. Hey Romeo, thank you for joining. Hey. I like that conversation though. By the way, how was y'all New Year? I see y'all in a while. Yes, um, New Year is going amazingly yes. so far. New Year. How you doing, this, um? I forgot your name. Porsche, Tammy. I'm Tammy. Tammy Porsche, okay. Yeah, I like the little duet. Like <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm, okay. Thank you. So what else you're talking about? About uh, the, men, you the women? I mean, I was in the um, in and out. We were talking about pick me's. Oh, ooh. Yeah. I'm kind of pick. Oh, damn. Are you a pick me? I'm kind of, well, me a picky person or what? No, no, no. Meaning you, you desperately want the attention and affection of a lady so bad that you tear down her past relationships or any other men in her space. Oh, wow. I don't need that much attention. Uh -uh. Uh, <laughs> do, do you date women that are that way? No. Uh -uh. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'm kind of picky. As, I told somebody, um, somebody, hey, you know, everybody got standards. They have a type, right? And I told somebody it was my type about and then women, somebody gonna say, Damn, you asked for too much. I'm I'm just that's the basics. But your standards are your standards. Yes. And so don't let nobody tell you that you asking for too I'm much. Thing, then I can't I said no smokers. They can't have no attitudes, no drama queens, no nonsense. They gotta be independent, no gold diggers. Somebody what gonna do you say, mean well, by damn. smokers? What type of smoker? Um all right. If you smoke and I can tell you smoke, like you, if you, it's through your clothes. But if I can't tell you smoke, that's okay. Uh, okay. That's the difference. Don't yeah. be a chain smoker. Oh, oh, cigarettes. cigarettes. Yeah, like I play like three packs a day. Like, come on. That's okay, cigarettes. cigarettes. Talk about cigarettes. Okay. That, okay. Oh, that too. Or the yeah. Uh, either either or. Uh, Darn. We'll never so be a couple. <laughs> Oh, oh, you do. I, am I, I think I'm the only dude in the city that don't smoke nothing. I'm not a chain smoker. I'm not a chain smoker, a chain doer, but or you, anything, but... You smoke other things, basically. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Um, welcome in to all the new people. Thank you. You know what's funny about this yeah, TikTok? I had to edit what I say. I'm new one here. It goes, so you can't say that. I'm like, damn, what can I say? So I got to um, think before I start talking. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I thought it was called freedom of speech. No, I guess not. No. <laughs> um, somebody said, good morning, Streeter. How you feeling, love? Um, Jahad said, how about people meet their own standards? Um, yeah. I agree. Goodfella said, a man should be completely all right by himself first. Okay. That That's what I'm doing, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Absolute said, ventriloquist, how about talking? Okay, I don't know what he's talking oh. about. Oh, speaking of the single dad, I'm doing a lot, and yeah, I ain't got time for no nonsense. Yeah, yeah, we. Justin, um, how you come right in the door cutting it, cutting up? Damn it! <laughs> Hi, Justin. Where you been? Why you late today? You was late yesterday too. Ten demerits. Real quickly, um, because we're gonna do our Tappy Awards present today very soon but before we get there can we get a two minute power tap it is 9 28 here in chicago i need two minutes for y'all to power tap us out because yeah, we ain't even close to our goal i don't know what y'all been doing right uh we made that 10 and it's been like inching 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 help us reach um i don't know wherever uh can we get to 22 at least 25 maybe i don't know can we just get a power tap real quick i got two minutes um, don't tap in the box though, Romeo. Um, okay. uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, you 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 listening, Gator girl? <laughs> yeah. So it's interesting. So this whole conversation, just to give context, um, and also to do a quick commercial break. This is the After Party Podcast, where your host is Tam and Portia. Our initials are TAP. So we like to say tap that. So tap 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 in, tap all over the host box. We are celebrating our one year anniversary this week, as you can see in the background. Shout out to us. Woo, woo, woo. Um, we have been doing these TikTok lives for our whole year. Okay. And we are here Monday through Friday from 9 to 11 Eastern time, giving y'all two good hours of free produce content. Okay. Today is topic Tuesday, and we are talking about pick me's and the energy okay. thereof. <laughs> And pick me's okay. A pick me is uh, a person that feels the need to tear down other people um, in order for them to get chosen by said person that they are trying to be with. Okay, so um, we were talking about that and speaking on past relationships or people that have been in past relationships with people and all that type of stuff, like. What what's up with that? Like, are you guys giving that? Is that what y'all want? What like what's your thoughts about this? Um, because we were saying earlier, some people said that uh, pick me's also be uh, some men be attracted to pick me's. They want a woman to be like, come choose me, choose me, and do all this and chasing up behind them and doing all this type of stuff. But other men said they don't too much care for that. They want a confident woman. They don't want you speaking on their past situations and all that type of stuff. So we're just trying to figure it out. Um, and also, how do you feel about your current speaking on your past situation? Romeo, you want to answer that? You said my current? What do you mean? Your current, somebody you're currently dating, speaking on a past situation that or a past woman that you have dated or relationship that you have had. Hmm. Our name on YouTube is the dot after party pod. It's in our link tree in our bio too, Streeter. Okay. Tree, click on it. Subscribe over there. Thank y'all. Hey, Poetry Soul Chow, how you doing? Poetry Soul Chow. Poetry. Okay. Life be life and on the tube. Period. Poetry Soul Chow. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Um, Romeo. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It's like um, a lot of women can't handle a guy like me. For one, they're gonna say, "Um, all right, I'm, I'm gonna just this." A lot of women say, "Um, I tell females, I'm a nice guy. I'm not a sucker. That's the difference." Mm -hmm. And they try to take that. Um, use my 
Count us for weakness. Oh, you're not gangster enough. You don't like doing this. I'm like, uh, I think I do the basics to open the door for a woman. Open the car door for a woman. Be romantic. Women don't like stuff like that no more. What? No. Mm -mm. A lot of women don't like stuff like that. I'm like, damn, 2024. I don't like that. Um, (sighs) Interesting because somebody I was recently talking to Mm. said the same thing. And (laughs) if a woman doesn't like minimum chivalrous acts, then maybe that's not the woman for you. Yeah. Um, but that's interesting. I wonder what it's to that. Because all the women I know love for a man to open the door. Maybe what I attract as far as my friends and you know acquaintances. They like the girl I took out on a date a few years ago. She worked at the same job but different departments. I was doing the basic. I got her flowers and her candy, and she didn't know how to dissect that. She was like, "Uh, I guess it scared her off." I'm like, "Okay, that was weird. That was strange." Y'all work together? No, Y'all same work? building, different departments. Oh, okay. It was like in 2018. Yeah, for sure. But she didn't know how to dissect that. Okay. Yes, sir. I I believe that uh, Mr. Romeo has uh, a lot to say for. Uh, but I don't think he heard the question at hand. Could you repeat the question for him? Oh. <laughs> I-, <laughs> I was just it. Um. I can't with y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> First, and then, then he can go back. Gotta give him time. I'll give him time to think about the question that you asked at hand. I mean, he's got, he's a wealth of knowledge, but I don't, I don't think he heard the question. So I'm, I'm going to let him go back to that. But, um, pertaining to the question that you asked at hand, um, I think it's a waste of time, um, for a, a, a current situation to speak about the old situation, because if you're focused on you and what you're working on, You don't have time to talk about the past, especially if you and your current are doing well or y'all working on a plan or y'all have communicated and you know where you want to go. You don't have time to look back at uh, the the past situation. Take the time and do what you got to do for your current (laughs) situation. All right. Now, my other point that I'm going to make before uh, Mr. Romeo uh, drops uh, some some nuggets on us. Um, I think a biggest word, I think a big word a lot of people miss is accountability. And I think a lot of people who fit the categor- categorization of pick mm-hmm. aren't good with accountability because what they should be asking themselves is, why didn't someone pick me? What's the problem with me? Why am I always in a situation where I'm questioning why didn't I get picked? If you're always in that situation, Right. Take time to stop talking, look in the mirror, and see what's wrong with you. Now, I'm going to digress because I really want to hear what Mr. Romeo has to say with this question. You don't, you don't. Uh, uh, what, what say you? Uh, oh, you want to be yours, eh? Hmm? I don't understand. Oh. He's singing, um, Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, he said first. Beautiful <laughs> day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Be my neighbor. Shut up about that. A lot. <laughs> That's my childhood, Mister Rogers. Ah uh, man, who is now Daniel Tiger for the new the new age kids? Okay. Um. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So, okay. Thank you, uh, Romeo. We appreciate you. Mm-hmm. We're going to go into our Tappy Awards for this week. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining no us, Romeo. Peace out. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wade in the water. Why are you singing Wade in the water? What's wrong with y'all? <gasps> Mr. Reed, <laughs> the fucking shade. <laughs> Good morning, the Timu Michael B. Jordan. I cannot. That's NC Trucker. I can't with you. Oh God. <laughs> Timu Michael B. Jordan. 
That is hilarious. I love it. That's funny. Four miles per hour. Jesus. I, told you I, love I think you. it's just best that we go into the tappies at this point. Because listen, I I've given all that I have. I have nothing. Good morning, Jam Jam. How you feeling, love? Just your first time here. Welcome. <laughs> Play like Coco Melon soundtrack. No, don't don't do that, Siri. Don't do that. How you Dang, doing? Big, 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 big is such a damn bully. I better get a damn award today. Ooh. <laughs> Listen, please don't. And that's a disclaimer. We're not. Don't feel any type of way if you don't receive a award. Um, those who are nominated were nominated based off of the categories and the the impact that they have had on here. And it's not to say that you you did not make an impact. This is based off of a whole year. Okay, Big V. Okay. <laughs> it's based off of a whole year, our whole first year. So some of y'all just came in later, you know, into this and but also still made a huge impact with some things that y'all have done. Some of y'all have been here in front of a get-go and you know it's just been even kill across the board, which is fine. I know, baby. I know. Uh, that means you didn't get one. Oh, Lord, shut up, baby. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so NC. much, NC. Thank oh, my you, God. NC. <laughs> he is so annoying. <laughs> it's wrong with AB today. Oh, my God. I'm just glad to be here with the family. Period, La Butterfly. Oh, it's a good time. time. It's a good time. La Butterfly. So, why aren't you in Discord and how will you get the cruise information? Are you going on the cruise with us? I don't think she know how to get over there. Oh, okay. Mr. Reese, you going to stop talking about me like I'm <laughs> medicated. <laughs> he be coming for your head. Mm -hmm. Okay. So up here and be going... I'm locked up now. And ain't no judge. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, God. Okay, sorry. Eating the mic. He swear he be sitting there still, not doing nothing. I don't understand. <laughs> Sir, we can hear it. I don't know what we're hearing. Oh, God. Stop there early and take us out your pocket. <laughs> and anyway. And watch. <laughs> oh, you're not going? Oh, the butterfly. Oh, damn it. Man. I thought we was going to get to meet you. It's 940, guys. As we do these awards... Y'all have 20 minutes to help us reach our like and go, which is 40K a day. So he say he got tap, us in his pocket with his snacks. Tap, tap, tap in. I work playing. <laughs> I work playing with Saran Wrap. Streeter, we are going on a cruise. We are taking a cruise with our VIPs. If you are not <laughs> subbing with us, you are missing out on a lot. And one of the things you're going to miss out on is the tap cruise. Portia says she's going to be naked for the whole five days. I'm going to be naked for at least three of them. Miss Reese said, I'm, a, I'm around a lot of noise on that ramp. Oh, that's what it is. No, the noise is directly in your phone. It's going. <laughs> it's her making a song out of it for me. <laughs> Follow the disrespectful road. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tap it on the cruise. Wait a minute. I don't, I can't speak for anybody but myself, but have at it. I, did, I didn't say we was tapping on the cruise, but although we're going to be on the cruise, do whatever y'all want. What happens in the ocean stays in the ocean. No. <laughs> I would not be the deliverer. <laughs> of any secrets but i also will be peeping all the shits if you sneak off with somebody tam will know it 
Okay. Now, if Tam sneaks off with somebody, y'all better not know it, goddamn. Okay. That's not how that works. Oh. Uh, Streeter said, where's the sign-up sheet? The sign-up sheet is this yellow star at the top. So subscribe or down here. <laughs> Next to comments, it says a yellow, I mean, it's a star with a circle around it that says subscribe. Subscribe, you get access to the Discord, and that is your welcome. <laughs> All right, so we are going to jump into our one-year anniversary Tappy Awards, okay? Shout out to all of our VIPs. Oh, shit. It didn't go Hold on. Here we go. Why are you getting stuck? You're not using your breath right. Definitely using my breath. You're not blowing right. You know how to put it right. I can't sometimes the product be malfunctioning. It gets stuck on your lip. That's what you told me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you throwing tomatoes, Gator? <laughs> Bro Kales. Good morning. Is this your first time with us? Welcome, Yay. welcome, welcome. <laughs> All right, let's jump into our tappies. Yesterday, we revealed who is the funniest and who is the messiest. And who won that? Again, Blossom won for the funniest. Mm -hmm. And I think her recaps is what took her over the top. Mm -hmm. um, and so Blossom won for the funniest. And the messiest was a tie between Blossom and Kia. Uh, Kia. Kia, they won for the messiest. Also, Blossom's recap is what took her over the top for the messiest. Uh, <laughs> it's funny and messy, all in one. Um, so, yeah, just be being messy boots in the comments, period, and in these boxes. So, you know, there's that. Today's categories, we are going to reveal who is the biggest troll. Y'all, we want y'all to come into the box to receive your award. And also, you can say a speech for a quick moment if you would like to. But please come in the box and receive your award. We have a little certificate for y'all and everything. So we're going to do who's the biggest troll. And, hmm. Let's see. Who shows up latest to the live? Oh, this is good. Are, Let's do that. Are they here? No, they are not. They accept their awards? Damn. Um, they one person here. is here, but the other one is not due to okay. um, some personal reasons. Okay. Um, but we will make sure that they know when they come back off a of hiatus. Okay? I, will, I will accept their award on their behalf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, can the comment really be understood? I don't know. Um, thank you. Thank you. So the award for, I mean, um, the category of the biggest troll, there were three nominees. Our first nominee was Darren. As y'all can see just from today, this man was in the comments when Tam said that she was talking to a guy, he was acting stuttering, all that stuff. This man said, who? Black Moses? He said that? Yes. I told him to go sit in the corner. It was I definitely him. not. I told him to Black sit in the corner. Moses. Nobody's seen Black Moses since you ran him off with your trolling Darren ass. has ran him off with his trolley antics. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Teddy Grams, for following us. Appreciate you. The second nominee for the biggest troll. Uh, oh, and Darren being here trolling with noodles and stuff. It's a whole thing. Darren be he trolling me by changing his profile picture. He today. changed his picture to... Um, some content that Tam made. He is one of the biggest trolls ever. Uh, yes, Darren has trolled me since day one. Yes, he has, Jen. He mm -hmm. has been trolling you, calling you our clear sister. Um, and Even he, after we stopped. And he doesn't care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nominee number two was Sky. Y'all already know she's a huge troll. Sky came kicking in the dough being a troll. Okay. Now, since she done took on this judge persona, now she done pulled her trollness back a little bit. But also, she is very no. much so still a freaking troll. Okay? Um, I think it's very correct because didn't you say something about beepers? 
Exactly. She said back in Tam's time, she and had then, and then your Texas. your equally trolling sister jumped right in with the pay phones. I saw the shit. I saw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, messy. Mm-hmm. She is definitely a troll, and she be coming for everybody in these boxes and these comments. See these trolls be in the comments acting a fool. We trying to tell y'all mm-hmm. they be acting a fool. We can't control them because we're up here minding our business. But if you get attacked by any of these folks in the uh, comments. That's on you. I don't know. You ain't got nothing to do with that. Um, you better come out swing. All of, it's so funny that all these trolls act a whole ass today because AB is the third troll. And y'all saw him in down here talking about watches and uh, talking about singing ventriloquist. Ventriloquist to my big bottom lips not moving. I ain't even <laughs> reading the comment because I knew what he was talking about. And also, he down here singing Mr. Rogers. It's it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Like they are trolls. They troll any and everybody. He come up here talking about I look like a wrestler every day. He talk about Tam wanting to be choked out with her scarves and pictures. He haven't said stuff. that in a long time. This this is just the things. This is the things. Uh, what Justin? But why? But why? AB said that's why you have a wooden leg. <laughs> See, they trolls. This is what they do all day long. Not my dude, AB. Take that nomination away. Absolutely not. He is a troll at the heart, at the core of him. He don't give a damn. He name. come up in the box to troll. He so do. He so don't do. give a goddamn. Yeah, straight up. He, got me he ain't wrestling. never scared. He ain't yeah. never scared. He ain't never scared. <laughs> and I ain't neither. So these are our three nominees. Darren, Sky, and Absolute. They have all shown their ass today. Y'all see what it is. And here is the winner of the biggest troll. According to our VIPs who voted, the biggest overall troll. Let's do a drum. Oh, where's the drum row? Let me do the drum. It's so underwhelming. It is. It is Darren. <laughs> it's Darren. Darren. Woo! Woo! Darren, come receive your award. Tam, you got his uh the... I told you I ain't okay. need to take a picture. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, okay, hold it's on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We'll, okay, we'll send it to you in Discord, Darren. Don't worry. Yes, all of your awards will be in Discord at the end of the week for you all to print them, save them. Darren. Oh, he said he go had to work. the bathroom real quick and come up here. Get I'm your here. ass in the box. Get in the box. It's only for a few seconds. It's not that long. Let's oh! go. Darren, I put my little clear hands in the chat for you. <laughs> uh, look, good fellow says it's in a two for one certificate for Darren. No, it's one for one, and he can make it two if he like because apparently that's what he does. He, he right. pours a little cologne into an empty bottle, and then he fills, and now he got two. Give me a few minutes. minutes. Here yeah, I come. Come. Okay. Yes, well, Darren, he's please. Coming, I guess we can move on. Yes, Darren, please come. Streeter said, go to the bathroom. It's crazy. Bruh, <laughs> y'all do everything else y'all want to do. Not the Mickey Mouse hands. Ooh. Oh, because he's got the white gloves. I'll be slow. Um, I hope Congratulations, you Darren. Yeah. You earned that, okay? Y'all all... But you earned that. Everybody think you're the biggest troll. You overwhelmingly won with nine votes. It was it was crazy. But anywho, um, so we'll move on to the next category while we wait for Darren to come grace us with his presence. Okay. Um, what was the other one I said? The latest. The latest. Oh, maybe I should wait. On that one. Let's do, let's just do I don't know. Oh shit. Thank you, Lakeisha. I don't know. I'm so torn. Um, 
Oh, let's yeah, let's talk about it because we got time. Oh, we ain't got that much time. We got a little time. The best court case. What you think, Sam? What should we do? That okay. Oh, okay. I wanted to do. You want to do that one on Friday? I thought we was doing something else on court. Friday. Because we usually do. What you want to do? Oh, well, do it. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The best court case. Uh, <clears throat> the nominees we uh we did it based off of last year's court cases. So Keith's court case was not included because we had just did that one. So we only have four court cases for 2023, and the nominees were I mean, well they were the state versus Tam with the adult child endangerment. endangerment. <laughs> um, and the second case was stake versus Kia and y'all know that was from her alive we just trolled her from there and brought her to court she didn't show up for court which was a whole problem she came for the hearing but she didn't show up for court so but what are we the, the case still went on and she was still found did guilty. she come because it was all five of her personalities that came for the right. hearing um Tam got found guilty she was found guilty Kia was found guilty. The third case was the state versus Darren for being the hustle man of the Tap family. He's always trying to sell us some ish. Um, and that was hilarious, too, um, because he was selling merchandise during his court case. He didn't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly was the state versus the good fella. And he, um, Darren was also found guilty. And Goodfellow was the only one of these cases that was found innocent by default of women throwing their panties at him. And I think it's some bull-ish. He should have been found guilty. But whatever. They fell for the voice thereof, the Goodfellow. That fucking Gator girl, I think she... Yeah, she, um, she was the like one that took it over the top. She's for sure. Yeah, She was like, he is definitely innocent. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing he... Look at her throwing she down there moist and stuff. Listen, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> and now he's trying to sell Scooby Doo stuff. Exactly. Oh shit! Yes, so, definitely. Those are the nominees for the best court case, and overwhelmingly, this court case won, which I also agree should have won because it was the funniest court case there was. And that goes to let me get my drum. Oh shoot. Darren again! Woo! Woo! Let's go, Darren! <laughs> now Darren I'm liking one again. Pick up the pieces. Hey, hey, pick up the pieces. Hey. Congratulations, Darren, um, for being funny as hell and it's hilarious. Um, keeping us literally spitting our coffee out yes darren um two for one yes darren came on the screen with products not just one multiple products like, and kept adding more stuff as the case went see, on <laughs> and then we told him about the child and they uh child laws labor laws that man was like f them kids they got to he definitely they got a place to live i don't give a f that was so funny. Congratulations, Congratulations Darren. Congratulations. <laughs> you crying? I'm young, girl. I just want to thank my mom for saying Jesus Christ. Who is the head of the heart? Shoot. He's so overwhelmed. I gotta go back to work though. Okay, okay. Go ahead and back oh, to Thank you, work. Darren. We love you here. Thank you for being our day one since uh, uh A1 since day one. We appreciate yes. you. 
and all that you have given towards the TAP live experience. Uh, you have been such a treat. And we are grateful to have you in our midst and a part of our family. Shout out to the VIPs for being Shout dope. Shout out to period. our VIP. There, I am praying that you be able to make this cruise. I know. Okay. I'm trying to make it. I know. You know, you got 2,500 kids. And so I know it might be difficult, but I am praying yes because i want to meet you i yes. think that unless you're the B as good yes um streeter asks you got any bogo sales darren oh yeah i have it by tomorrow tomorrow he gonna have yoni bars by one get one tomorrow oh, thank you okay. Darren. we know you got to get back to work but thank you for gracing thank us you, for accepting your award all of all of the awards will be in discord and you guys can print them or not but i would say save them for memories all right what you say darren drop me block me <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh God. Listen, he a fool. A whole fool. A whole one. Of course, you want to talk about the podcast before we get off of here? Yes, we are starting filming and recording again today for okay. the podcast season two of um, The After Party. And we are super excited because we're going to be talking about um, more real ish. Y'all know how we step anyway. Um, and for those who aren't already following us and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please go do that. Um, I don't think we're going to drop our first episode until March, but March. we are working behind the scenes as always. Um, so continue to support Go on our YouTube. Also, we do, we put the replays of the lies up on YouTube as well. So y'all always got something to watch, okay? Y'all always got something to watch. And just as much as y'all love being here, y'all can go over there and reminisce and be like, I remember this day. Oh my gosh, it was so great. Because it's always great being here with you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. So thank y'all so much. Um, and also follow us on Spotify where our podcast is as well. And yeah, that's pretty much that's it. We 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 expect our VIPs over here to be VIPs over there. Yes. You guys really do not want to um miss this upcoming season. This upcoming season is going to be all about healing. Um there will be something for everyone in this upcoming season. So please if you're not already subscribed over there, it's free over there. If you if you subscribe in here you for like payday, it. you can subscribe over there for free free. Okay. For the free free for the low low of free ninety nine. And send it to your family and friends, especially those that you know need a little healing. Yes. They won't be paid. Forty thousand likes. They won't even know why you shared it with them. They won't know that you shared it so they can be found and, and get unbroken. Thank y'all. Who is Pum Pum? Why we got that Pete Pum Pum in the ER? What is happening? What's going on in the chat? I try not to read what y'all saying because y'all y'all like Oh, Pum Pum in the drain. Why is there a poom poom in the drink? Oh, the yoni bars. No, we can't do the bootleg yoni bars now. That's too far. Oh. Oh, oh, because he's selling bootleg. Yeah, well, I had we have over here at the after party, we have the real yoni bars. Check out the video advertisement. Ladies, go watch the video. That's all I can tell you. Get it. In our showcase, in the after parties showcase, it's there. Get it, get it. Thank you, money. Yes, yes, yes. Thank y'all for helping us reach our liking goal. 
Um, our gift and go, not so much. You don't know we want to be one. You need a pom pom to get a well you could buy it for your wife or significant other. Um if she's not always feeling her best and super fresh. Help her out. I don't know. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Listen, it's eleven oh two. We gotta get out of here. We I got we got plenty of work to do. And we gotta get ourselves ready for filming tonight. Um Okay, let me get out of here. I don't know what's happening. Remember, the world has never met another. You go out and be great in it. We love you guys. Thank you so much for 41,000 likes. Thank you guys for half of our gift and go and all the other gifts that you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all of your comments. Um, congratulations to the win winners of the Tappies. We will see you guys back here tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern, where it will be our special request Wednesday. Um, and so we'll see you guys back here. Have an amazing day today. Bye. Bye. Bye.